Hi guys, I'm coming in today to uh, show you how to make this beaded butterfly. So what you're going to need, anyway, so, and I just cut it with scissors because it's thin wire, you don't need, I mean if they're, these are titanium uh, scissors, so they'll cut through it. Uh, you probably don't want to use normal, normal scissors. <clears throat> So what you're going to need for the body are some bigger beads. Uh, you're going to need three, uh, two seconds, I'll just get my measuring cup for this. I'll just measure these beads for you. Because uh, I'm not sure what size they are, but these calipers will tell me that it is a a six millimeter bead this bead is six millimeters so you're going to need three of those and then you're going to need oh you're going to need four of those and then you're going to need some smaller ones and these ones i think are four millimeters if i'm right yes they're four millimeters so you're going to need you're going to need um, one, two, three, four of the six millimeter, and then you're going to need three of the four millimeter. So, back to the wire, we're folding it in half, and we're going to add one of the little ones, the four millimeter bead on there. Just let it go down, put another one on there. Then you're going to take this wire and you're going to put it back through so you've got two ends coming out of your wire. You're going to pull on both ends and that bead's going to then anchor down at that halfway point there. So they're going to sit on top of each other like this. Oh, I don't know how to show you the camera. <laughs> See that? Sorry about my nails. I haven't redone really them. So then you're going to take the next one, the next little one, and you're going to thread that on there on one end. Take your other end and thread that back through. So you've got two ends coming out. And you're going to pull on both ends and anchor that one on top of the other two. So now you've got three beads on top of each other, like that. Then you're going to add the bigger ones. So you're going to keep doing the same thing, putting on one wire and putting it, putting the other end of the wire through and pull both ends. You can do it with all those, all these beads and I'll catch you up when we've added all of those four on here. Okay guys, so now I've got all my beads sitting on top like this, on top of each other, okay, and now my wire's coming out the sides of each of these two top beads, if you can see that. Alright, so now what we're going to do is thread on um, a seed bead on one end and you're going to put your wire back through the head of flick away that 
seed bead that you just added on there and you wire back through the um hang on let me see if I can zoom in a little wire back through the head that top bead is going to go back through there so you pull that wire and then that'll anchor that little seed bead onto there okay and now you've got to add one to this wire on the other side uh, where's the hole okay so adding that on there and then take the wire back through that side of the head and that'll anchor that seed bead on and then you have two little seed beads on there like that now you've got the beads uh, the uh, wire coming out the side of the bit of the um, head now what you're going to do is take another seed bead and you're going to put it on one end of the wire and we're creating the antennas now so you're putting the seed bead on one and you're just going to bring it up as how high you want your antenna to be from the head up and then just bend your wire down holding holding that seed bead there right and then just and then just um, twist it make mine super long on this one it's a huge antennas but anyway <laughs> oh, I wasn't really paying attention to how big they were but maybe I'll curl them or something it's got a long antenna so again with this wire on this side now you're going to add a seed bead bring it down and I'll just measure it against this one so that they're roughly the same size fold it over and twist it oh, that wire doesn't go there that one does And then you can simply cut that off when it's twisted all the way down there. Just snip that off. And same with the one on this side. You can just snip that off there like that. And now you have his antennas. I've made these super long. I don't really know why I've made them so long. I don't know. I'm going to curl them up. <laughs> uh. <laughs> all right so now we're going to work on the wings okay so I'll go back to the wings and about 50 inches I think I said about for the wings and uh, what you're going to do is find the halfway point and you're going to start with the we're going to do the top wings first the top top one so we're going to start with four seed beads and we're just going to add them to one end of the wire now if you've got a bead spit a bead spinner this would be a lot quicker i sold my bead spinner because i'm not doing beading anymore after this tutorial so um i don't have it to do this tutorial with so um Got to do it by hand but if you've got a bead spinner you'll see in my other video where i used it it's a lot faster to thread seed beads on with anyway you just let those four go down to your join down to your um fold i mean let them go down there what you're going to do is they just sit on top of each ugh, sit on top of each other 
like when you did the rose, if you made the roses or watched the rose video, they just sit on top of each other. So the next lot that we do is, I don't know, let me see, uh, one, two, three, six. So we're going to add six now, black seed beads. And take your other wire and pass that back through those taking both ends and you're going to bring it down you're going to bring it down and uh, have it sit on top of these four down here okay you can use pliers to pull on the wire if it makes it easier for you So now you've got six sitting on top of four. Now you're going to do, um, what's the next one? One, two, three, four, eight. You're going to do eight. And pulling them down and they're going to go on top of the six and they're sitting uh, on top of each other like that mine are not very uniform because they're just from China they're not you know but if you have uniform beads, they'll sit nicely on top of each other. So that's eight. So then we're going to do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to do ten this time. One, two, three, four, And now we're going to do okay so now we need to open up these colored ones and I'm gonna do one black one uh, what am I doing two black ones One coloured one. Oh, these are tiny compared to the black ones. Hmm. One coloured one, three black ones. One coloured one, uh, three black ones. one colored one and two black ones okay so then you bring your wire back through all those oh, and of course one of my colored ones is too small of a hole so we won't use that try a different one Pull those both pull both ends and have those sit on top of the other beads Then you're doing going to do um, one 
one black one. Four coloured ones. Okay. Now you're going to do, now you've got this. Right, now you've got that. And now you're just going to do one, a row of black and you need three. So that sits on top. Okay. Now this is one wing. So now what we're going to do is bring your body back in. I'm going to straighten out my antennas. <laughs> All right. So we've got our body, what we're going to do is take um, take our wires and your left wire, your left hand wire is going to go through the second body bead. So you're going to go through the second body bead, but not the first one, the second one. You can take the left wire and go through that. Okay, I don't know if you can see. Then you're going to take the other wire and go through the next bead below it. Okay, and you're going to pull pull the wires, and that's going to anchor. Oh, what did I do? Oh, had my wire twisted. Ugh. Okay, try that again. Okay, so the left wire through the second bead and the right wire through the third bead. Okay, like that. And you're going to pull it. And then that's going to anchor your wing on. All right, so now we have, now we have our wing on. See? But we're going to leave this like this. Okay. And I just need to trim this a little bit. Oh, that's annoying. So we're going to leave this wing on here like this. And we're going to start working on the other wing with the body in between. Okay. So you can do exactly the same sequence that you did here. Starting with starting with the three the three black uh, the three black ones you're going to start on the wire that's coming through there now you're going to do the three black first and then you're going to follow the same sequence of colors on this side okay you know what i mean so you're gonna let me just do the first row so you're going to just add three black ones One, two, oops, sorry, one escaped. Three, whoop, or not three. Get on there. Okay, so three, and I'm just going to add the, put the other wire through and pull it. And pull it tight. And now you can see I've got the three seed beads anchored here. So now I'm going to follow the sequence of colours that I did here in the next row. And I'll do the next row, next row, next row to follow this sequence. Okay? And I'll meet you back when I've done that. And then I'll run you through the bottom wing and show you how... Um, well, I'll show you how to... How I... Um, finish it off at the end of the wing as well so I'll be back when I've finished come to the end of the wing the next wing okay okay guys so I'm back and I've, I've done up to the last bit on the wing there now what I'm going to do with these wires that are sticking off is I'm going to thread them back through that that uh, the second row and hopefully it'll go through because I'm using 
a little thicker wire than I should be. But let's hope it goes through. Oh, there it comes. And if I use my pliers, it's easier to pull that out. So, oh, where am I? So that wire there that's sticking out of the second row, I don't know if you can see it at all. But I'm going to pull that through so it's coming through the second, back through the second row. If you can see. Alright, so I'm just going to pull that through and that's now anchored. And now I'm going to go back with this other wire that I haven't used yet. And I'm going to go through the front, the the other side of the first row and that's going to anchor that onto there like that then I'm just going to use my scissors and just cut those off those bits sticking up I'm just going to cut them off just like that and that's the first set of wings and they're going to do the bottom wings for the bottom wings you do exactly the same as the top ones um, except there's a different sequence of numbers so so what you're going to do is again cut yourself another piece of 50 inch wire length and you're going to be working on these with these bottom bottom wings this time and you start from these beads here so you you put one on and then you put another one on and then another one so there's three on top of each other um, singul singularly before you start the rest of the rows okay so I'll just walk you through that 50 inches of wire you fold it in half or bend it in half whatever so you've got uh, a center. So ooh, my beads are going everywhere. I'm gonna need some more beads than that. Just some more beads. Out. So we're starting with the bottom three. So we're doing one, and we're just gonna add that to one side of the wire. Then we're going to add one more and thread the other wire back through and pull both the ends and let that bead then sit on top of the other one like that. And then one more. Thread it on one wire, put the other wire back through, and bring that one down to sit on top of those two. And you have the three sitting on top of each other. Now you're going to start the rest of the wing. And the rest of the wing is what is it? Three or four? I can't see. One, two, three, four. That's four. Right, and put four on. Put through the other wire back through there. Pull it down. And that's going to want to it's going to want to sit curved but you want to straighten it slightly so that it sits like this kind of like an upside down L because you've got your three down the bottom okay all right so next row is now uh, one, two, three, five, six. Is it six? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So then I'm just gonna, I'll be back in a minute because I'm cooking dinner at the same time. So I'm going to pause you and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Okay, so now you have something that looks like that. And now you're going to add it to the body of the dry, uh, the butterfly. So this time we're going to put it in the wires through the third bead down on the body, which is what the wings went through as well. So the third bead down and then the next big one. So, so with this little tail pointing downwards, you're going to thread the left wire, the left wire through the same hole as the last wing. So the third bead down, the left wire through the third bead down and the right wire through the next bead, the fourth bead down on the body and just pull those through. Make sure you don't get it twisted like mine is. And there we have it attaching there Where am I? to the butterfly. Like that. See how that's attaching on there? So now you're going to keep working with these wires and do exactly the same sequence as this one. Starting from the three black, working back this way to the end to make the, the other side of the wing. Okay, so start with your three black and do the same thing, copying the other wing all the way back to the tip and then I'll show you how to finish it off when you get to the tip all right so I'll be back shortly okay guys so I'm down to this end now I've added my last three beads on there what I'm gonna do now is take this wire this the my right hand wire and I'm gonna weave it back through so I'm going to take the right hand wire and weave it back through that second bead and it should anchor and it does and then I'm going to cut that off okay and then I'm going to take this other wire and go through the the next bead down so I've gone through the second bead with the first wire. Now I'm going to go down to the third bead with the other wire. And that's just anchoring anchoring it down so that the wires don't come out by some chance, you know, slip out. And then I'm just going to cut it off. Actually, what I'm going to do is weave that back through if it'll let me. No, if it will or not, but if it lets me, I'll go back through that second bead. Yep, and it has. That's better. And that'll anchor that side in as well. You can do this part however you want. You just weave the um, the wire back through a couple of beads so that it doesn't come undone. So um, so here now is your butterfly. See how pretty. See. So hopefully you could see what I was doing there. If not, you can let me know and I'll try and explain it again. Um, but it's done the same way as all the other um, things that all the other beaded videos that I've done they all layer on top of each other um, in, sequ in different sequ 
you know, in different sequences. So yeah, so that's it. That's the that's the butterfly. Okay, guys, thanks so much for joining me today, and uh, hopefully that was easy enough to understand. And I will talk to you all again soon with some paper crafting videos next, I think. All right, guys, bye.